In this video, we will be learning how we can use Copilot with respect to Microsoft Excel and how we can incorporate and use these both things together in order to help us out with formulas and functions in Microsoft Excel. Before further delays, let's begin. The very first thing that you see in front of you is the sale data. I got the sample data in which we do not have the total revenue written at the end of the table. The very first thing that Copilot requires me to do is to convert this data range to a table. Remember, Copilot feels at ease when the table is formed because it can easily access things, add filters and slicers to the table in order to sift out and analyze the data. So what we're going to do is we're going to agree to what Copilot is saying and press convert. Here you see all of the columns and rows which have the data is converted into a table. The table has headings with slicers on the top from which we can select any sort of particular category we want. Here in the Copilot panel, you can see different suggestions which Copilot gives you in order to analyze and use different sorts of formulas and functions in our Excel sheet. The very first one says, show data insights. We could go ahead, press this and see the insights of the whole data. The second says to show a suggestion for a formula column. And the third one asks us to highlight, filter and sort data. Right here, what I want is a formula for the total revenue column, which would help us find out the total amount of money spent or the total amount of money earned by selling different units at different prices. So right here, I'm going to give it a prompt to find out a formula which is going to help us with total revenue. Right here, I have given it a prompt which says to write a formula for column D to find total revenue for each of the row using information given in column F and G. If you look at the table carefully, F and G are the unit and unit prices respectively. Logically speaking, the total revenue should be having a formula which multiplies the unit number with the unit price. So let's see what Mr. Copilot has to give us after using this prompt. As soon as I send it, it starts to process information. It would take us a few seconds in order to process information and suggest us a particular formula. But I'm pretty sure it's going to create something that is going to be helpful and logical. Here we have the first response, which says, here's one formula column to review and insert. Calculates the total revenue for each sale by multiplying the number of units sold by the unit price of the item. This provides a good insight into the total revenue generated by each sale in the table. So as soon as I just hover over the insert column, you're going to see that it's going to generate an other column, which is total revenue two, and it's going to have all those numbers, all the amounts that are earned by selling each unit at each price. Once I press this, I'm going to see the total revenue column appearing. So it says, I'm done. I inserted total revenue two to column I. Now, as soon as I press undo, it's going to revert back. Here you can see that it has put a line across or stricken through the same prompt that it had told us that I have added total revenue two to column I as soon as I undid my prompt. The reason for eliminating or undoing this particular response was that I want my total revenue to appear in column H. Now I'm going to give it a prompt which says, good job, use the same formula in column H for finding the total revenue. Let's find out what sort of response does it give us. Remember, Copilot is in the process of learning from our responses and our prompts. So it is very wise to think before you give a response because it's going to learn and adapt to your style. Sometimes it happens the way it happened right now, saying, sorry, I have trouble working on prompts right now. Try sending your prompts later. This might happen because of 
Copilot being choked up because of different users using it at the same time or because of your data availability. In any of such case, we shouldn't have problem using the same kind of formula we had given earlier, which was this one at the top. We could simply copy this and we could paste it in our first cell. Once we do that, you're going to see that it automatically flash filled the whole table. So this is how you can use your particular Excel sheet, incorporating it with Copilot in order to help you sort out problems, find formulas and functions which best suit your Excel sheet. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.